I made a decision a long time ago that when I was gonna have kids, it wasn't important for them to go to college. I'd like them to, but I'm not gonna require it of my kids. It was important for them to learn, not things, but how to learn things or how to find things, right? So think about the, the world we're about to enter. We're about to enter a transition from the creative class to the non-creative creative class, i.e. being the people who are painters and hackers and write poetry and, and make film and all that, to people who do not have any of the technical capability to write an app or shoot this podcast or whatever, now not needing to have an example. When I was at Chaotic Moon, every day I would receive hundreds of emails. I got this great app idea. I just don't know how to program it or I can't do the art or whatever. AI is gonna do that for you, does that for you in some cases now. Uh, GitHub has the co-pilot to help developers program, right? Yeah. Dali and Midjourney like are making art. Midjourney's art uh, is fantastic. I have used it multiple times in presentations, everything. So I think it's important to expose the kids, um, you know, with the right, you know, like, you know, here's a good, here's a bad, here's how you do it. But I also think it's important that we don't treat them like children. Our, our problem with kids, you know, your first episode of the show, which is where I, I, I became a fan and started watching it, was about, I let my kid walk to the bus stop and everybody thought I was a horrible mom, and, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and so, so think about, uh, you know, I agree with her, but with technology, it's like, why are we not letting the kids play with all the tech? Like, it's the same thing. I'm going right. to challenge you on this a little Please bit. Please do. So it's clear how quickly kids can pick up new tech. Mm -hmm. I've always found it kind of funny. You, you know, I remember the argument against having Macintoshes in, in right. schools I also as, as the PC became dominant was, well, the kids are going to come out of school and they're going to be a on world PC. PCs. Exactly. And it's like you do realize that like Microsoft Word on a PC in the future is going to look nothing like Word on a PC today. That's right. So the notion that like what you're trying to learn here are principles, not necessarily like per skills. Like skills are kind of, skills That's can right. be picked up, but principles, values, ways of thinking, ways of behaving. And I think some of those some of the most important ones that I worry about, and this is where I do get worried for real, and where I think there are reasons to worry. Our psychology hasn't changed that much. We are still the same creature we're that we were primal. hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago. We're the same, I think. And so some of what makes us what we are now isn't built to change at the rate that the tech changes. And some of the tech that's happening, like you see with social media and the behaviors that happen mm -hmm. as a result and the mental health crisis that has been spawned, not just out of social media, but it's played a big role. That is this like disjointed thing where our psychology is basically like entering the metaverse where most of the things that keep you healthy are gone and only like your id is left. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but hang on, I expose my children to real technologies, not try to get them to pretend they're a model on Instagram, right? So there's a difference between te fundamental technologies and applications of that technology, right? And what I'm talking about is the fundamental technology. Yeah, so get, right? dig into so they, this more. So they learn, that, they learn how to use the AIs and the voice and all of this stuff, but I do not let them, I limit their use on YouTube. I do not let them have social media accounts. I do, I, because those are, we built the technology of the internet and that's an application of that technology and, and social graphs and stuff that is very negative. I, I think it's a, had a really negative part, but understanding the way that that works when it uploads a photo, understanding the way that you're communicating, how the chat works, that there's an internet, all this. I absolutely want my kids to know all of that and be exposed to that. So it, it's very much about making sure they understand what's behind the thing, right? And, and, and so that sets them up to be exposed to so many more things. Like I, I talked to a parent the other night who was 100%, I will never let my child use chat GPT. I say, are you kidding? I'm thinking about getting an account for my kids because there are certain things I could have them do that. Uh, and they're really responsible with tech. You know, Julian watches a lot, plays a lot of, you know, games, uh, but he also, one of his favorite games plays, he plays a ton of chess on there. Lincoln calls uh, using YouTube e-search. It's like, I got to e-search something and believe it or not, watches cooking videos, okay? I think you want to provide to your kids and expose them everything that would advantage them, 
right? You want the best for them. You don't want to do it for them. I don't want weak kids. Like there's consequence, there's all this stuff. But when it comes to the tech, I want them to be on that leading edge because opportunities do not come from the past. In almost every case, opportunities come from the future. And so if they're on that mm. edge, they will face more opportunity than I ever had by the time they're 16 in my entire life. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Whirly. And one of the best ways you can support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.